it should always be used to show the evolution and development of your story. Not just to speed up something just because. Anyone can do that. Speed ramping is more of a concept than just a visual effect. Regardless of your editing software, you can apply these principles to any project that you are working on. For example, let's analyze the introduction video that you just saw to learn how to implement some basic rules to accomplishing these techniques. We are going to break it down into three parts. Number one is going to be the music and the anticipation and how this can set the tone for your story. Number two, on-camera transitions, transitions and sound effects. And number three, your story. Without any further ado, let's go under. And just to be on the safe side, for those of you that don't know how or where to change the speed on KineMaster, this is how. Once you have your clip on the timeline, you're gonna tap on the scissors button, then you're gonna tap on split a playhead, and you're gonna split your video right at the part where you want to change the speed. Tap the speed button and change it to the desired speed. And like I mentioned at the beginning, speed ramping is more of a concept than just a visual effect. And with that out of the way, let's go down to business. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna open KineMaster, you're gonna tap on the plus button and you're gonna select 16 by nine if this video is for YouTube. The step number one to speed run your video the right way is gonna be music and anticipation. So the very first thing that you need to do for your speed ramping video is selecting the right music. Listening to your music will allow you to visualize the camera movement that you are want to perform and the flow of your story. So this is very important. You can use any song provided to you on KineMaster, including the asset store. So you click over here and you can choose any song from the asset store. Or you can use any YouTube copyright free music site and you can start with the YouTube music library or no copyright sounds or iCloud. Just make sure that you follow all the rules so you don't get any copyright strikes. And the links for the sites that I use to get free music are listed on the description box below. Okay, the first part of the video was the anticipation of the speed ramping with the time lapse. Although the elements on this uh, image are moving uh, really fast, as you can see, the slow motion zoom in and the dramatic music uh, makes it feel like if they're moving uh, slower than what they really are. And this is how you can set the tone for your videos. Okay, this is very important. If you shoot your own video rather than using uh, random stock footage, you will have more flexibility with the things that you wanted to do. For example, I have my camera on my window facing the water and the rest of the story happens in the same location my opening scene was pointing to so it can organically relate to the story. And the step number two is going to be on-camera transition, transitions and sound effect. A rule of thumb when doing on-camera transitions is to make your movement in the same direction as the previous one. As you can see here, when my subject uh, puts down the sneakers, I go down at the end on a circular motion down to the right. And this movement is made by the same movement on a circular motion up to the left. It looks like there is a transition between the two clips, but as you can see, there's none. You can use a circular motion effect as well but try not to combine the two. And what I mean by that is do not use an on-camera effect and also the uh, motion effect. There are plenty of circular motion transitions available on KineMaster. And one of the most important part is sound effects. Sound effects plays a big role on how visually affected your speed ramping can be. Here's the footage without any music. And the third step to speed ramp your video the right way is your story. Make speed ramping in a way that makes sense visually. Create an script that also has a storyboard. Make it a three part story with an opening, midpoint and climax. If you find any value in this video, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Activate that notification bell. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you next time on the water.